it uh, left egg on my face because it was very, very impressive. So, yeah, we, we dipped out completely in the seventh, Mike, but not to worry. There's uh, one to go here, and hopefully we can strike some success. I heard you talking about Just Got the Look, Mike. It's uh, a very much informed mare. She's uh, really hit her straps, had uh, started Penrith, and she ran second. It was a pretty good race, a pretty good run. She was... Uh, back on the pegs, awkwardly bottled up and uh, managed to, to find some room to the outside and hit the line strongly. And uh, I remember thinking at the time, gee, you know, she might be uh, a good horse from an angle. And she subsequently come here and she's won both of her uh, starts at this track and uh, goes into this race at $2.20. I thought Charlotte Brew would certainly benefit from the run last week. And uh, it's my uh, on-top tip, Charlotte Brew, at $3. Uh, John Tapp trains Charlotte Brew. Uh, Tappy's had two runners already today. One came uh, home in front and the other one came uh, place. So uh, he's had a good day out so far. And I, I know he'd love to see uh, Charlotte Brew salute here. She won the Oaks back at uh, uh, Melton on the 23rd of April. She then resumed at Penrith and she uh, she led and she pulled and uh, got fired up and ended up uh, having a, suffering a slight leg injury. But uh, John took plenty of time with her, brought her back to the trials a couple of weeks ago. And then she had her first start back uh, this time in when she ran uh, third last week behind just got the look and dripping class. And you'd think she'd be better for that uh, that outing. We've got through the day. It's been bleak. It's been wet and rainy and there's still plenty of cloud around us. So it'll be uh, plenty of rain on the trip home, but uh, we've got through the day and that is the main thing. We return to Harold Park for the third last time on Friday. As with the countdown continues to the swan song of Harold Park, we've got meetings on the 3rd, the 10th and the 17th. This week, the uh, third last meeting ever at the Great Track. Now they're coming up. This is the final race. Fantastic dream at Alina Spirit come forward with extreme fire and strong sapphire. Just got the look. Satellite Rustler get ready with Charlotte Brew and they're just about set to go. They are. They're at release point. Go there racing. Out wide on the track. Away pretty well was Amazing Spirit. Away well was Extreme Fire. And it's going to go in search of the lead with Strong Sapphire. And soon after, Strong Sapphire hits the lead over Extreme Fire second. Just got the lookers poking through the middle to find itself in third spot. And then came further back to Alina Spirit. Caught wide was Amazing Spirit. And on its back is Dripping Class. And then Fantastic Dream and Satellite Rustler. Charlotte Brew is going to settle second to last. And last of all is cover up. In that pattern, the field head into the back straight the final time. 28-5 was the first quarter and the leader is Strong Sapphire showing out by a length on Dripping Class who's out three wide and pressing on. They were followed by Amazing Spirit who's in the centre and back on the pegs Extreme Fire is now bottled away. They were followed then by Just Got the Look who's the third horse on the running line covering up Alina Spirit. Then came on the outside to further back to Satellite Rustler and then Fantastic Dream Charlotte Brew and still cover up as back at the tail end of the field. 31-9 was the second quarter as they make their run towards the 700 metres and still at Strong Sapphire leading Dripping Class. Third is Extreme Fire and then came Amazing Spirit. Alina Spirit was back on the inside and there's a move taking off Charlotte Brewers. Flushed out just got the look so Charlotte's going to get a bit of cover into the race. And then came further back to Satellite Rustler driving up in the middle. Fantastic Dream and still last of all is cover up as they head towards the 400 metres. The leader Still is Strong Sapphire. Dripping Class is having a crack at it. Extreme Fire waits on a run, but still Strong Sapphire leads. 31-3 next quarter. Coming to the outside now and putting in runs. we just got the look and Charlotte Brew. Dripping Class moves up on the outside to join the leaders. He's just got the look cutting loose and Charlotte Brew down the outside. Just got the look goes to the lead from Dripping Class. In the middle is Extreme Fire and Charlotte Brew's down the outside, but still it's just got the look in front and just got the look's going to beat Charlotte Brew. Cover up from last has got third. Extreme Fires run fourth. They were followed back in behind them next by Satellite Rustler and Amazing Spirit who boxed on with Dripping Class. Then Strong Sapphire, Alina Spirit and the long last was Fantastic Dream. 27-6 for the final quarter and she is racing in peak form. Just got the look. Just got the look. Well they uh, finished uh, 250 each of two the favourites. Uh, so just got the look and Charlotte Brew. They both came from the back. Bennett was able to flush the three-wide train out. 
He got uh, just got the look rolling, but uh, Amazing Spirit uh, pulled out first, so they all pretty much got cover into the race, and they fanned again. And it was uh, just got the look stay. A uh, Courage under fire mare out of love. The look is owned by FN Fitzpatrick, RL Noble, TC Hawkins, PE Hawkins, and ML Hawkins. Lisa Fitzpatrick and Blake Fitzpatrick combine to win the final race. Three and a quarter metres by a metre and a quarter. Three and a quarter, one and a quarter. Quarters of 28.5, 31.9, 31.3, 27.6. And that time is 1.59 and change. And we're awaiting on the numbers to be semaphored as well as the official time. But you'll find Just Got the Look will be first. Charlotte Brew will be second. Cover Up has come from a mile back. There go the numbers now. And three extreme fire fall. So five, seven, ten and three. The official numbers. And to confirm it all, the time was 1.59 and three. Wrapping up the program of racing here today. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Importantly found a few winners and uh, finished on the right side of the ledger. As uh, those watching on Sky C Vision of the Runners Return, we headed back to all studios and thank you for your uh, uh, being with us today. And I'll be back with you later in the week from Penrith when they've got their Big 8 race card. Place getters are on their way back. Place getters are returning. Winner of the race, just got the look. Racing in terrific form, notches up the hat trick of wins and has been able to score. And that's a uh, winning double today for Lisa Fitzpatrick. Having won earlier with Rock Your Baby. Blake also picks up a double. 5, 7, 10, 3 on the last. There goes all clear. Final race, all clear. All clear, people.